Welcome to Season 17 of Physics, where we discuss all of your favorite physics topics. We asked you, the viewers, to vote for what you want this season's theme to be, and you voted for Uniform Accelerated Motion. Get ready for the most exhilarating episode you've ever seen. We will be examining two students who toss their friend's binder horizontally off the bleachers at a track meet. This is my assistant, Adam Abdubai. As you saw, that was a pretty hard impact, but you may be wondering, how high up was that fall? Well, that's a question for physics! We know that the binder had an initial vertical velocity of zero, since it was thrown horizontally parallel to the ground. We also know that the vertical acceleration is negative 9.81 meters per second squared, because this is the acceleration due to gravity of an object near Earth's surface. It is negative since the acceleration is down towards the ground. Lastly, we know the duration of the fall is 0.93 seconds. This is the time that the binder left Adam's hands to the time the binder contacted the ground. We don't know the change in displacement, or delta y, that represents the vertical displacement of the binder. Using these three variables, we can solve for the height of the fall using this equation. Change in displacement equals v initial times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. After substituting in these variables, we can solve and find that the change in displacement is negative 4.2 meters. It is negative since the binder fell down. This means that the height of the fall was 4.2 meters, or about 14 feet. We can also find the velocity when the binder contacted the ground using the equation final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. We can substitute in the same values to find that the final velocity is negative 9.1 meters per second. Today we found that the height of the fall was about 4.2 meters and that the final speed of the binder was about 9.1 meters per second. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next episode on Forces.